Hello my queens and welcome back. Now if you want to see how I did this look, please watch. I already have my brows, my foundation, everything and my powder. So let's get right into this. Today this look is going to be a whole lot more simple and simple. <laughs> so first I'm going to go ahead and go in with Love Letter by Anastasia. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take my larger crease brush by Wena Wild. I'm going to dip into it just like this. I'm going to grab my brush and I'm going to put that all on the crease. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on the crease. I already also um, primed my eyes. So they are already done. And also, I'm not using any eye shield, which is why I have the powder on today. Because I'm going to just kind of bring it all around today. Like, all around, if that makes sense. This color is really pretty because it's like maroon, but then it's like dark burgundy, but then it's like purple. It's like all the colors you could think of. Okay, so have that done. Dip into the other guy. Other guy. Not another guy. I wouldn't do that because I already have one. I'm gonna dip into the same shade and go into the other eye. Now, if you notice when I'm turning, it's just because I want you to see, you know, the angles. So that way, if you didn't really catch it on the first, you catch it on the second. So once again, just kind of get in there. And also, just something that I think I said it in the last video, but I'm gonna say it again. When you're doing your crease, don't really close your eye. Kind of like leave your eye open so you can see it. And tilt back a bit and then just follow your crease just like this. I like to just kind of blend it. Kind of just do this. Just to blend it out. Because for me sometimes right here, it doesn't blend all the way for some reason on my eye. Just kind of get in like that. Get it right here like I like to. Bring it right here. Okay. Then we're gonna go ahead and bring it down this way. So we're gonna just bring the same shade and bring it this way. Just like this. Just cause I wanna connect it. And just kinda, of course if it is a little messy, I am gonna go in with my other smaller brush and then fix the color so now that that I got what what did I say now that I have that one I'm gonna go in with my smaller crease brush and I'm gonna bring it this way continue bringing it this way but with the smaller one just so I can blend in the color I'm gonna just kind of do this in the corner just so it'll be connected and then do the same on this side bring it all the way I'm not bringing it all the way too I'm just bringing it like right here in the middle and then just blending it out this way and I'm also doing this little swirl like this right here just so I can connect it as you can see right there and just gonna kind of blend it like this now what I'm gonna do right here is I'm going to take a bigger fluffier eyeshadow brush just like this one right here as you can see and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna blend it and take out any harsh lines so I'm just gonna kind of do this real quick on both just kind of take out any harshness right here same thing just take out any harsh lines that I may have and make I'm gonna check my circle and right here I'm gonna have to add a little bit more kind of like on the bottom side right here so just kind of get in do another little swirl go back with the bigger fluffy brush right here I don't know why I'm putting it over because I have my mirror right here too so I'm gonna go in with this fluffier brush and then just kind of blend out any darkness oops now what I'm gonna do for the second part is I'm gonna go in with the chrome paint 
Shadow Pot by Tarte right here. You, I think you can see it. And this is in the shade Fire Dancer. And this is what it looks like. Now, I'm not going to use a brush for this one just because you kind of don't need it. I'm going to just go in with my finger. I have my mirror right here. I'm just going to go swirl it in like that. That is what it looks like. It's intense. Intense. And then I'm just going to... I'm not going to go in with concealer again because like I said, sometimes I don't... Um, Sometimes I don't do the whole concealing when colors are extremely pigmented. I just don't. Because I just feel like it's an unnecessary thing for me. You know, I feel like I'm just going to waste my concealer if they're very pigmented like this. So I go on with my finger. Bring it up close to the lid like this. Bring it up close. As you notice, I'm not going all the way into the middle, and that's just because I'm going to put another color right there. So I'm just going to do this, move it back and forth real quick, get a little more for this eye, and right there. Now, what I'm going to do is just blend that out. Oops, I dropped some on the floor. It's all over me. Okay, so I'm going to go in again with the fluffy brush, and then I'm just going to blend it like this take out any harshness or any, if it got anywhere that it didn't belong or i didn't want it i'm just gonna blend it out like that to make it look smooth just like that now i'm gonna go in with my smaller brush just like this i'm gonna dip into this shade it's called the color tattoo pure pigments it lasts up to 24 hours by maybelline the color tattoo this is in the shade um, Wild Gold, as you can see right there. And this is going to be placed in the inner corner where I did not put Fire Dancer. So this one, it does pick up a lot, so I kind of have to tap some off. And I'm just going to place it right here in the inner. And I'm just going to bring it upwards like this. This is not going to be kind of like an inner highlight. I'm going to put some on the lid. Just like I'm doing it right here. Just very little. And I'm bringing it right here. Just like that, as you can see. Like, that's why I'm saying this is not going to work as the inner highlight. It's just for the lid right here. And I'm just going to blend it like this. Make sure it's blended out. Okay. Now, for the inner highlight, and for the bottom half that I only went up to the middle, as you can see right here, I only went, I did not go all the way in. For right there and the inner highlight, and I might put a little on my brow bone, but I think that might take from it a little. I'm going to go in with this one by Medusa Makeup. This is their eye dust, and this is in the shade Big Bird. If you all have ever watched Sesame Street, you all know who Big Bird is. Now, I did just get this one, so I haven't played with it. These that have the plastic, I like taking them out because I don't like, I don't know, the plastic bothers me. I'm going to go in with the same brush, just cleaned off. I'm going to dip into the shade Big Bird. Take some off, take the, some of the excess off, and I mean, this stuff is yellow. This is going to go right here on the bottom where I didn't meet it all the way. So I'm just going to place that like this very lightly and bring it all the way to the middle. So get a little more and then just put it. This does have a bit of fallout because it is a, a loose pigment. And then I'm going to plop it in the inside. So I'm just going to put a little right here. Just to kind of like connect the shade Big Bird um, with the gold shade. Just kind of want to connect them, but you can see the differences right there. 
Now I'm gonna go ahead and close that up. It's a pigment, so I'm afraid to sneeze and just kind of like, <sighs> cause I'll cry. You will see this big baby cry her eyes out. Now what I'm going to do is clean off that brush again and just clean it up a little bit, just like that. And then just kind of make sure it's blended right here in the middle. Now for this look, sometimes I'll for these kind of looks, you know what, I'm actually going to add a little bit more gold. Sometimes for some of these looks, I will use an eyeliner. And sometimes I don't. And that is only because I want the, I want the color to be like, I want the colors to be super visible. So sometimes I won't do eyeliner. And sometimes I will not do false lashes either just because I want the colors to be super seen. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm gonna go ahead and apply my mascara using my two favorite Lancome products and I will be right back. Go ahead and dusted off my powder already. Real quick, I just wanna show you this brush that I use for my powder. It is a triangular brush, as you can see right there. The reason I like this is because when you press into the powder, and you press it against your face, it just kind of, you can see, it like gets the shape of your under eye and then it's easy to just like swipe. So I recommend this for powder. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring my handy mirror back and I'm gonna go in with my bronzer. My bronzer is by Lorac Cosmetics. Today I'm gonna use this one. And this one is going to be in the shade Sundays. I don't know if you all can see it, I hope you can. Uh, I'm gonna just dip in with my big powder brush. Now, I didn't do my regular contour because I wanted to go in with the bronzer and then just kind of use the bronzer as a bit of a contour. Sometimes, um, I don't do the whole contour, like, fiasco just because, um, sometimes I just kind of don't want to. I kind of want to just go in with a little bit of bronzer and use that as my my bronzer. Not my bronzer, sorry. My contour, just a little bit. So I'm going to just... Okay. Then after that, I'm going to go in with my blush from NYX. This is a powder blush in the shade rose garden and i'm gonna go in with my big fluffy brush by wet and wild i'm gonna just kind of dip in there just like this not too much because this one does pick up a good amount of blush that one does have a lot and then just kind of do my circular motion real quick and i'm actually looking at my eyes right now and i'm like damn this came out nice i really do recommend by the way those um chrome paint pots by tarte I don't think they're limited edition, but you know what? I'm not entirely sure. And I don't want to give you the wrong information. But I would say check them out. They're super pigmented. And they're they're awesome. Then I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. highlighting brush. And I'm going to go in with Becca Cosmetics in the shade... I oh, hope you can see it. Opal. And I'm going to be applying this one. If I can open it. Oh my god, I can't see. Okay, there we go. Just going to dip into that both ways. Not even going to take off the excess. And then just kind of go on and put my highlight where I want it to be. Do my, my little C right here. Dip in a little more. Do a C. Actually, you know what? Let me switch mirrors onto the one that's on here. And then I'm going to... Go down my nose, Cupid's bow, underneath, and then just go over once more with the highlight. As you can see, this one's super pretty. Look at that. Bam! They can see me from outer space. I was looking at space. <laughs> All right, now that that is done, all that is left to do is the lip. So I'm gonna go in 
with this lip by Smashbox. This is their Be Legendary Wear Lip Lacquer in the shade Coral. I definitely, I know for a fact you all cannot see it because it's so small, like it's so small. So I'm just gonna place it right here for you. It's Smashbox Lip Lacquer in the shade Coral. So I'm gonna go ahead and just apply this really quickly. All right, you and guys, so we'll for right some on. reason, this ending portion after the lips deleted, it was just gonna be the lips and then the ending, but it deleted it, so I just went ahead and uploaded the pictures, so this is the final look. For more videos, please watch either video. You can either click this one or this one. Please follow me on Instagram and Twitter and make sure to subscribe to my channel.